Hi there, it's Rebecca. Maybe this will be fourth time lucky as it's the fourth time I've tried to make this video this morning. Um, this is my week two uh, post-op video. It's Monday, October 11th, 2010. Um, and my weights at the moment are 243 pounds, which is 110.2 kilos. Uh, which makes it a five pound loss from last week. Um, if I'm honest, I'm not overly happy with just five pound loss. I was hoping for more like seven pounds, maybe eight pounds if I was lucky. So I'm two or three pounds, well three or four pounds off um, what I was hoping for. Um, However, I know why uh, I've not really lost um, as much as I was hoping for, uh, and that is quite a lot down to laziness. Um, I've been quite lazy last week because my husband was still off work for a few more days uh, at the early part of last week, um, helping me around the house and everything. Uh, and typically he wouldn't let me do anything so I couldn't get back into a routine um, and um, it was quite difficult um, everything I went to do I was told I can't do so I shouldn't do it um, and also I struggled very much with getting my fluid in last week um, being on the liquid stage is so hard because I felt like all I was doing is making soups and you know sieving soup and making milkshakes out of just milk and fruit or whatever and I just felt like I was constantly in the kitchen but not getting any sustenance because I was not getting any texture to my food um, and I've just realized I haven't set my alarm so I'll set it for a few minutes in. Um, yeah, so uh, so consequently, what I was doing was having my meals but not drinking in between um, because I felt like I was just always drinking. Um, and I've been so fed up with it. I've got so fed up that uh, the middle of last week I actually tried to jump onto my stage two which is still soups and purees um, but they can be slightly thicker so I don't have to sieve them they can be actually like a yogurt consistency or whatever or a soup you know what you'd expect a, a nice thick soup to be um, but I soon realized that um, I was not ready for that because I had some pain and I think I think I started dumping um, if if I'm honest uh, I got incredible pain in my breastbone incredible pain um, and then also when when uh, when that had passed a little bit I then found that I got incredible pain lower down in my stomach which is obviously where my second incision is where the sec you know where the second part of the Rue MY um, incisions are because the pain was intense oh my goodness so intense and I didn't know what to do with myself I can't really describe it obviously you guys who have been through that pain will know what the feelings like um, but it's just it's the most horrible um, squeezing, bursting, just a horrible, horrible feeling. Um, and to top it off, uh, I also so I, so I did get things stuck. I did get something stuck. Um, and to top it off, um, a couple of days ago, Saturday, this was. Uh, I'd gone back onto liquids by that stage um, because. I knew that you know two days into stage two when I should be on stage one 
it was the wrong thing to do. So I went back onto liquids um, by the weekend. And Saturday evening, I had my sieved soup, um, but I drank it too quickly and I ended up dumping again. And this time I had uh, a nausea. I, oh my God, felt so many waves of sickness, but I couldn't actually physically be sick, but I felt really sick and also very, very lightheaded and dizzy. Um, the, the, so I can put the nausea down to the dumping, the lightheadedness and the dizziness, I'm kind of putting down to dehydration really because it's very hard to do your liquid stage and do your fluids at the same time because you just feel like you're constantly drinking. So um, I did get a bit dehydrated so I spent all of Sunday yesterday just constantly drinking all the time every few minutes I kept that water bottle with me and I kept drinking um, and luckily yesterday and today I've been fine um, now today I have had half a wheat wheat bix half a wheat biscuit um, which is stage two uh, in oh goodness quarter of a pint of milk it was a lot of milk and um, very very mushed down almost liquidy um, liquidy and soft and that touch wood I me seemed to go down okay and stay down and hasn't hurt um, you know there's only probably one tablespoon of food there anyway plus the liquid um, of the milk so uh, I've managed to have that down this morning which is good so that is promising for stage two so I'll try something a little bit later on um, and see how that goes uh, and hopefully I can properly move on to stage two this week but last week was not good um, I felt very lazy um, I had a hard time adjusting to the food to the liquid diet um, because my body's just saying I want more I, I want something you know thicker to eat um, and the head hunger oh gosh my husband made bacon toasties the other day um, and the smell oh it was just so divine and I and I told him off because I can't eat that stuff you know I have to sit there drinking juice that I don't like drinking juice and soup that just tastes like water because that's the texture of it um, and he's there sitting eating a bacon sandwich, a bacon toasty and the smell so I, I cracked um, at the weekend and I told him that he can't do that to me again not not until I'm at least onto my puree you know onto sort of semi hard food soft texture um, I found that really hard you know watching other people eating food around me um, and the cravings for for things like well bad stuff you know a hamburger or uh, a biscuit or a cake not chocolate funnily enough I'm not craving chocolate at all which is weird for me because I always thought I was a very chocolatey person um, I'm more craving like you know a nice cake or you know you know um, a muffin or something like that um, or I'm craving the proper food like the bacon toasty or um, what else did my husband have the other day he had a jacket potato with um, mint on it stewing steak and it was like oh, just I just love to have a bite but I know I can't um, and my son's toast in the morning you know he has marmalade on toast and it, it looks so soft and so smells so nice and I was like oh 
and I couldn't have it and it's a good thing that I can't have it I physically know my body can't take it I cannot eat that stuff but it doesn't stop the head hunger it doesn't stop you desiring it uh, the desire is always there and that's hard um, uh, exercise wise I've not been doing too great last week as I said um, my motivation wasn't there because I couldn't get into a routine with my husband around the house and sort of preventing me from getting back into my routine um, I found it quite difficult to to find the time or to make myself go out and do stuff um, I do know I'm up to about half an hour's exercise at the moment I can do half an hour without start without the pain starting to come on um, but then after any more than that and it does come on uh, and I'm not up to full speed yet I'm sort of three quarters of three excuse me three quarters of the way there um, so I'm doing okay but I can do better and I, I'm this week I'm determined to do better so I'm determined to up my exercise this week whether it be in speed terms or distance terms I'm, I'm going to do better that's my alarm telling me that it won't be long before I've run out of time so I best um, finish this off and say thanks all for watching and I'm going to try and catch up with your videos over the next couple of days um, and respond to a few um, and hopefully I'll do another video probably before if I can I'll do another video before my next week's update because I feel like I've lost touch this last couple of weeks so um, I shall try and do another video in between but if not I shall see you next Monday okay take care bye